creators welcome back to my channel today I am making some masculine Valentine's cards using the meant to be bundle I am starting by stamping on some vellum in Versamark ink and I'm going to heat emboss that with silver embossing powder you can find the measurements for all of the materials on my blog at mcreations.com just click on the coordinating blog post link in the description box below. I am taking one of our sponge brayers with Mango Melody ink and a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm just going to kind of play around and get the ink down on the paper. This is my first time playing with those sponge brayers and I had a really good time. I don't know what took me so long to play around with these. If you haven't used these yet, I highly recommend you get yourself some. They're very inexpensive. You could find the link down in the description box below and play around with different colors and combining the colors and see what gradients that you can get. Like I said, this is my first one, so it's a little choppy, but I decided to use this piece and cut it up for the little hearts on both of my cards. And I think that it turned out really well. I'm using several of the hearts from the Be Mine stitched dies and I'm running them through my Big Shot and just getting some different color gradients with that brayered cardstock. Even when you think you've used as much of the cardstock as possible, I'm sure you have some small dies that could cut out a few more pieces. That's where I took this heart die that has lots of these little hearts on it and I just ran that through and I was able to get quite a few extra pieces out. Now I'm taking a card mat with one of the larger hearts and I am cutting it right out of the middle and I'm using both of those pieces on the two cards I'm making today. And now I'm taking a piece of pretty peacock cardstock. I'm cutting a few different pieces. I'm going to cut a card base, a card mat, and then a small strip to go onto one of my cards. This small strip is going to go underneath the piece of vellum that I heat embossed with my sentiment earlier. I'm just trimming down the vellum now so that it, it fits exactly across my card front. I have a piece of silver foil sheet that I am using as a card mat on the first card. I'm just going to get that adhered down with some snail adhesive onto a Whisper White card base. And then I'm going to pop up my cutout heart mat with some dimensionals. That's going to go right on top of the silver foil. And then I'm going to layer on my piece of Pretty Peacock and the vellum strip on top. To adhere the vellum strip onto the front of my card, I decided to use some dimensionals. Yes, you can see them on the other side of the vellum. However, I knew that I was going to use my cutout hearts to cover them up. So when you're making this card, just be sure that you are placing them very strategically so that when you go to cover them up, you have enough room and your sentiment doesn't get covered up as well. And now onto the second card. I'm using quite a few pieces that I cut out from the first card. I have a pre-peacock card mat, and then I'm using that stitched heart on top. I'm going to heat emboss the same sentiment on this heart with my silver embossing powder and my Versamark ink. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm using some dimensionals to pop up my brayer colored hearts and on this yellow one here I did put two dimensionals stacked behind this yellow heart so that it would really raise up and not be lopsided on top of the teal colored heart. And there we are creators. There are both of my cards today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to leave me a comment. You can find me on the web at mcreations.com and on all social media with mcreations. Have a wonderful day. Bye.